Hey guys, Dr. Rebecca Warren here from DoctorsWarren.com and today I want to talk to you about thyroid antibodies. This is one of the most frustrating things I see when um, a patient or a coaching client is coming to me looking for answers on how to get well, especially when it comes to their thyroid. A lot of people are taking thyroid medication and they don't understand why they feel like crap. So some of the symptoms I see, weight gain, fatigue, anxiety, stress, and even miscarriages. They come in and they're saying, how is it that I'm still feeling this way? Or there's people that aren't on thyroid medication, haven't been diagnosed with a thyroid issue, and they're looking for answers. The reason why this frustrates me is because, number one, either medical doctors are not testing thyroid antibodies, or, uh, antibodies, or number two, they're testing it and they're not doing anything about it, which is insane. Because in the presence of high thyroid antibodies, you have an autoimmune problem. And research shows that if you have an autoimmune issue, you are three times more likely to develop other autoimmune issues. So things like MS and systemic lupus and RA and psoriasis. Guys, if this does not get addressed, if it goes untreated, you are set up to have other health issues. And so why is it that doctors are not addressing this? Good question. Maybe it's because there isn't a medication on the market that's gonna bring down your antibody numbers. You actually have to get down to the cause and heal the body, especially the gut and the nervous system. But what should you be looking for? When you're doing a test like this, you wanna make sure that you're in functional ranges, not medical ranges. Because research shows that these antibody numbers can be high for eight to 10 years before you see a symptom. You wanna address it right away because your body attacking your thyroid is never gonna end well. And when your body's attacking your thyroid, it's not a mistake. It's not that your body's confused. The best way I can explain it is that you have a three-year-old. If I put a three-year-old in front of um, our TV for six hours out of the day, what's gonna happen when I take the TV away? He's gonna melt down, he's gonna lose it. Is there something wrong with my child? <laughs> no, it has to do with the fact that we were the, he was overstimulated. And so when your immune system is overstimulated year after year after year, because we're not getting down to the cause, we're not looking at your body in a real preventative functional wellness way, what's gonna happen is that your body's gonna end up attacking your own tissue. So we wanna make sure that we're addressing that as quickly as possible. And even if you're on thyroid medication, if you're not addressing this, what I find happens is that over time, you need to start increasing your dose because for some reason it stops working. Well, it's because your thyroid is continuously attacked, your gut is overwhelmed, your liver is overwhelmed, your nervous system's overwhelmed. And if you're not getting your dosage changed, what I find is that you just start going hypo and your doctor says your TSH looks fine and your possibly your free T4 looks fine, but they're not looking at this antibody that's literally attacking your thyroid. So what should you look for? You need to make sure that your doctor is checking your antibody numbers. And so what are uh, two antibody numbers that we're gonna talk about here in this video is thyroid peroxidase antibody and thyroid globulin antibodies. So TPO antibodies, that is an active attack on an enzyme that's needed to synthesize your thyroid hormone. You need this enzyme to make T4 and T3. So if it's attacking that enzyme and your thyroid hormone goes down, just because you're taking a medication to put those hormones in, you might start to feel better, but that attack is still happening. So medical ranges, um, they say on, you know, we use LabCorp when we, uh, when we order labs for our coaching clients and our practice members, they have the range to be under 34. I'm shooting for functional ranges, which is under a one. But the crazy thing is that I've seen people in the thousands. One man in particular had been getting his antibodies tested, his TPO antibodies, every year. His were 6,000. So how is it that he's getting it tested every year and no one's talking to him about the fact that, hello, you're still having an active autoimmune reaction. This needs to be addressed. The next one is this thyroglobulin antibodies. This is an attack on a protein that's needed to create your thyroid hormones, okay? So medical regions, again, within LabCorp, they have it under a one. I'm working on coaching people to get it below a zero. You wanna be optimal. You just don't wanna be within range. 
You don't want to be above range. You don't want to be normal. You want to be optimal so that you can make sure that your body is healing and functioning the way that it's created to. So if you guys really enjoyed this video, leave us a comment. If you want me to answer a thyroid question that you've been thinking about it, leave a comment and I can make a video on that. And make sure you share because you never know how far reaching this information can get to someone that's looking for answers.